Hello, I want to introduce you to the Gizmo Vine Speed Bolt. It is a nice remote control bolt with radio control, uh, remote control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to, what is in the box. This is what comes in the box. And how to assemble it, how to charge it, and what it looks like in the actual water at the end of the video. So um, let me get started here. All right, so let's just talk about what comes in the box. Obviously, you have the boat itself and the caps and the, like this encapsulates and keeps it dry inside. So it will take this and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, you got an additional cap, like a security kind of thing. This is actually a boat stand. So ingenious to include this. We just pop that together. Uh, stick that those two pieces in there. I don't know if you can see that and what that does is at first I was like, what is this? Oh, cool um, What that does is keeps the boat off the ground It keeps the boat off the ground I'll show you here. So the propeller isn't sitting and getting bent so it keeps it nice. So that's what it would look like I'll give you a better view here that's what it looks like, and it keeps that propeller off the ground, and it's in a nice little display thing to keep the, the boat safe. All right, so let's talk about how to get this thing started. Now, don't forget, at the end, I'll show you what it looks like running in the water. So, what you have here is the battery, and what's really cool is it comes with an extra battery. So, if you're out and about, and you're actually using it somewhere not close to home, you can have a backup battery. So how do you charge the battery? I'm gonna put this back in the display so the propeller's not on the ground. So this is the charging unit for the battery. Now the one thing that the, the this does not come with is a wall unit. So I got a wall unit from one of my phones and I plug this in and then just plug that into your wall and you wanna charge your battery. So to charge your battery, you're gonna hook the three probes into the three holes the male and female and snap it in and I'm like for this purpose I'm not near a plug but then you would plug that in you want to do the same thing with your additional battery you just pull that apart plug this in <clears throat> line up the three holes you can see line those up and then you charge this battery now in order to give the unit power, you've got to connect the yellow, okay? But while you're charging, I would unconnect it anytime. So you connect that in, it gives it power. So now the battery is charged. This is the charging portion of the battery. Now this is giving the boat power. So this was on there probably when you opened it up. So in order to get this off, you just twist and you can see there's a lock and an unlock. So unlock and lock, okay? So you to get this off, you have to unlock it. And so what that does is rotate these little uh, lock clasps, I'll call them. All right, so in order to get it back on, I unlocked it. And what that does, and there's a little black thing here that has to slip under. And what that does is it seals the water out of the battery compartment. It snaps down in there, and now I want to lock it. So it's nice and tight. It seals that water out. Now there's an additional compartment, or I, I guess for looks, that it, this additionally slides down. So once you get this uh, extra lid on here on the top, you can secure that down by sliding this little blue flap right there. So that locks that in. So now your boat is primarily ready. Uh, there is a little extra bumper on the front where it protects the front of your boat. And I'll show you if you flip it over, there's like a little hole right here that you can snap it in. You can see that it'll snap into that portion. So that just keeps that front safe in case you're a bad driver. All right, so let's talk about the controller and pairing. This is your controller. Pay attention to what this little um, 
sign says, it says tips for pairing the controller. The boat must first be in the water. So make sure you put it in the water. I think there's a sensor on the boat that, that knows, yeah, look right here. It knows it's in the water. So it like activates and connects with the controller. So in order to con turn the controller and the boat and get them connected, put the boat in the water and then you're gonna turn your, your power on. This is your power button. You're gonna turn that on and then your boat is gonna connect. It's gonna beep and it, if you look in your directions, which is this um, book right here, it shows you all the information that you need in order to pair. It's gonna beep and it's gonna do different colors. Like mine's already paired, so it's not gonna show you on this video um, how to pair it. Now you can also uh, you can also adjust your boat and like if it's going off to the left or right, it has the ability to trim it, I think it's called, uh, left or right. If it's rolling, I think it's called rolling in boat terms to the right or the left. You can adjust, and this display here is awesome. It shows you your battery. It shows you your channel that you're on. Um, it shows you left and right trim. It also alerts you with a beep if your battery is dying or if you're getting out of your distance. So it has a nice little alert. Um, and these are the rotations that um, guide like throttles forward and backwards, left and right um, to get you where you're going. So uh, one other thing that you do need is you need to open this and put batteries in. Not provided, you need four AA batteries from your own purchase. They are not in the package. All right, so let's just take a look at what this boat looks like in the water. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, which is an ingenious thing, I've never seen this in any other thing that I've received, is it comes with a little package of maintenance tools to take care of the engine and repair. So there's a propeller, some oil, um, a little wrench, and another little, I honestly don't know where this goes yet, but it's probably to repair something that um, actually might go wrong, which is fantastic.